Hey beloved, my name is Krista Pettiford. Welcome back to my channel. This week I'm back with another video in the Seasons series from my journal, Seasons Beauty, Blessings, Purpose, and Lessons journal. And I want to share with you about, there's five clarifying questions and you can get those five clarifying clarifying questions in my free downloadable guide, five clarifying questions for every season of life. But the journal helps you to stay accountable to what God is calling you to do and what you should give your time and attention to in this season. And so if you haven't, go back and watch the other um, videos where I talk about um, understanding your times and seasons how to know what season you're in and understand what God is calling you to do, where I talk about what God is asking you to lean into, what he's asking you to listen to. And now I want to talk about what he's asking you to lay down and lift up. And so I want to put these together. So I talk, I believe I talked about this a little bit. When you lay something down, you surrender it. It's different than letting something go. But then whatever he asks you, so you want to ask God, what is he asking you to lay down? Because there's always going to be something that he asks you to lay down in a season, something that you need to not just let go and get rid of, but that you need to surrender to him and put on his altar. But once you lay something down in this season, then what is he asking you to keep lifted up to him? What is the person, the place, the thing that he wants you to keep lifted up in prayer to him? And when I, when he, that he's entrusted to your care and to your prayer, that thing that he asks you to hold on is it hold on to that thing, that person, whatever it is, that he puts his finger on. And sometimes that thing is something that you want to let go of. <laughs> Many times the things that we want to hold on to, God says, no, that's the thing I need you to just let go of. And I need you to lay down. And the thing that we want to lay down or let go of, he says, that's the thing I want you to hold on to. And so the thing that he asks you to hold on to is the thing that you can believe that he wants you to keep lifted in prayer, not in anxiousness, but in everything by prayer and supplication to keep it lifted to God in prayer because he has, an, he has entrusted it to your care and he is entrusting you to pray faith-filled prayers over it. He says, I, ha I will do nothing unless I show, unless I tell my servants the prophets first. And so there's sometimes that God needs an agent in the earth to get his work done. He came, he needed flesh, he needed Jesus to come in the guise of flesh as the son of man so that he could die on the cross for us. He needed the prophets to speak forth his word. Many times God needs us to decree a thing in the earth. He needs us to speak a thing. He needs us to agree with him and to work with him in the earth realm to see something come to pass. And so even when it's a hard thing and you want to walk away from it, you want to let it go. God will say, hold on to that. And what I think about when I think of lifting something up is uh, Jesus in Luke 9, 16. Then he took the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven, he blessed and broke them and gave them to the disciples to set before the multitude. And so he looked up to heaven and he blessed and broke it and he gave it. So I think of multiplication. I think of what God tells us to hold on to and what we lift up to him. And even what we lay down. When we lay something down, that means that you're surrendering it. You're putting it at his altar and you're saying, God, it's yours to do whatever you please with it. Maybe you'll raise it up. Maybe you will leave it there as a sacrifice bound to the altar. But I trust you that if you don't give it back to me, then it wasn't meant for me. And then when he says, hold on to something and he entrusts you with prayer, he wants to multiply it. He wants to bless it. He wants to use that thing in your life to feed other people through his word, through his um, 
uh, multiplication in his produce through his through his uh, through the work that you do for him through the provision that he gives to you whatever it is that he wants to multiply whatever he has told you to keep and hold on to and keep lifted in prayer then he is going to do something with it and it may not look like what you want it to look like but if you obey god in it whatever it is that he wants to do with it as you keep it lifted up to him then you will see the glory of god in your life so in this season one of the questions that you need to ask god is one of the five clarifying questions that you can ask god and you can get the free downloadable guide as i said in the link i'll leave a description it'll be in the description is god what do you want me to lift up to you to hold on to and keep lifted in prayer before you and the other question is what am i supposed to lay down what do you want me to surrender not just let go now we talked about the difference between laying down and letting go but when we lay it down we put it on the altar when we let it go we we don't even know what happened and there's some things that god will say just let it go just drop it but then laying down um, denotes tender care and, pre and, and presenting it before God on his holy altar to do what he will with it. That you just didn't let it, for it, let it go for anybody and anything to get it, but you put it before God and you entrusted it to his care in the same way that when he tells you to hold on to something, he entrusted to your care to keep it lifted before him. And so these questions uh, and the other questions and all of the steps are in the um, five clarifying questions and so I wanted to share this one with you and I'll be back next week with uh, lessons um, and the other question is God what do you want me to learn in this season and so I will be sharing on that next week God bless you until next time this is Krista Pettiford